you're a car guy or car gal, you've probably considered or taken on the project of rebuilding an engine. In many cases, it's for an antique or classic car, or it may even be a newer vehicle that's developed engine problems. Either way, the majority of the time, you're going to replace the pistons and rings. These components play a critical role in engine operation. As the pistons move upwards in the cylinder, they compress the air and fuel mixture, and when it's ignited, the energy released by combustion drives the piston downward, transferring mechanical energy through the connecting rod into the crankshaft. The pistons endure extreme stress during engine operation, and the piston design, in conjunction with cylinder head and combustion chamber design, is responsible for engine compression, which has a major effect on engine performance but the pistons also affect the characteristics of the combustion process, making them an integral part of engine efficiency. The piston rings have two jobs. The first is to provide a compression seal between the piston and cylinder wall. The second is to control the oil in the cylinder wall to allow enough for lubrication, but prevent it from getting into the combustion chamber. Most modern pistons are three ring pistons, and each ring has a specific job. The top ring is what seals the compression. It plays a minor role in oil control, but 90% of its job is sealing compression. The second or middle ring, though often referred to as a compression ring, is only responsible for minor compression sealing. Its main job is to remove residual oil from the cylinder wall that gets past the bottom ring. In other words, its job is fine oil control. The third or bottom ring, known as the oil control ring, provides gross oil control. It removes the majority of oil from the cylinder wall, and then the second ring again is designed to remove the remainder of the oil, leaving only a very precise amount, just enough to lubricate the rings. Pistons and rings can fail in many ways. Worn or broken rings can cause low compression or oil burning, which is indicated by poor performance, misfires, excessive oil consumption, or smoke from the tailpipe. Pistons can wear, causing engine noise known as piston slap and catastrophic failures such as a burned or cracked piston can be caused by many things, including excessive carbon buildup, fuel delivery problems, incorrect ignition timing or spark plugs, poor quality fuel, failed EGR systems, or even too much boost pressure on turbo or supercharged engines. When replacing the pistons, the most important thing to remember is how critical they are to the combustion process and how they work in conjunction with cylinder head design. If you're using anything other than the original equipment replacement in an effort to modify the performance aspects of an engine, a lot of research must be done to make sure you'll achieve your performance goal without any adverse effects to drivability, dependability, or immediate interference with the valve train. Replacement pistons and rings must be purchased in the correct size to match the cylinder sizing in the block after engine machining has been performed. It's also just as critical to make sure that piston ring gaps are properly adjusted and that the final cylinder finish or hone is properly reformed to ensure the proper ring seal. The science of piston ring sealing is so advanced today that even when you're assembling the engine yourself, it's best to consult with both the piston ring manufacturer and the machine shop doing the work to make sure this part of the job is done correctly. Thanks for watching.